Hey everyone, Sam Davidson here with MEA Worldwide at the 13th Annual Ad Color Awards. Tonight we are celebrating diversity in the media and entertainment industries. We are going to be talking to some of the most interesting people. You guys are not going to want to miss it, so stay tuned. Well, you are hosting this evening. What an amazing honor. Yes. Tell me a little bit about how you got involved in the organization in the past year. Um, well, I have been an honoree at Ad Color. I won the Rockstar Award in 2016. And this is a conference that I come to every year, have come to for the last five years. So this is a full circle moment to now be hosting it. It's just an incredible room to be in. It's great energy. And I feel like it's a recharge. So since you've been a part of this for several years now, what is the best lesson or advice that like you've been given by being part of this conference that you really take with you? There's so much advice at Ad Color. I think every year, just seeing people in powerful positions use their power for good, you know, it's always inspiring for me. So I, I'm constantly inspired to also use my power for the greater good. And that is something that is affirmed at Ad Color. And you work with, obviously, like you just said, some of the biggest names in Hollywood. What is a conversation you remember that's some advice that you're very proud that you gave that person and how it helps them grow? Mm. Um, well, you know, I, you know, it'd probably be to uh, to Kanye West. I've been helping to serve the Sunday Service Collective, which we've been doing. Uh, I guess it started in January. Uh, I came on around March, uh, and we've been doing. I mean, it was in Chicago today, as a matter of fact. Uh, and this was, you know, I think a, more of a coming home moment for him. Uh, and really the counsel that I gave him is, hey man, you know, what an awesome opportunity to be able to use who it is that you are and what it is that you represent to shine a light on the biggest light that we all have. And I think that when you think about not just our country, but globally where the world is, I mean, you know, there are people right now in Abaco and in the Bahamas that are hurting really painfully. You know, there was a bombing in Afghanistan but within the last 24 hours. There's a 35-year-old soldier uh, whose parents are going to be mourning right now. Uh, and so for me, and going back to the same theme of integrity, what matters is being able to shine a light on that light that I believe looks over all of us and cares about the best of us. Uh, and so that was my counsel to him. And it's been an extraordinary um, extraordinary time being able to have something like that as an anchor of focus every week. Tell me a little bit about how Facebook you think has changed the game as far as diversity, women, women of color. Oh yeah, I'm so glad you brought that up because Facebook has definitely made taken a stand to represent the people that use our platform. In the last five years, Facebook has actually increased the number of black women at our company by 25 times. And I've been an example of that. I came in through the internship program and I've been at Facebook for almost two years now. And they support organizations such as Ad Color, but also small businesses that are run by minority business owners through so our Level Up program. Um, so they're doing a lot in the community, but also internally to really support diversity and inclusion. So um, first of all, congratulations Thank for being so honored much. this evening. Tell me a little bit about your history with Ad Color. Oh, well, yeah. Tiffany Warren is a very good friend of mine, and I just admire what she's been able to do in pulling together all the diverse executives and young people of talent in the advertising and marketing business. Uh, I run Parkwood Entertainment, which is Beyonce's management and promotional company, and we are huge proponents of diversity within the advertising and marketing space, but Tiffany, Tiffany is the one that really pulls it together, not only for our business, but frankly for all the industries. Well, speaking of Beyonce, I mean, she specifically really has helped the entertainment industry as far as representation and things like that. So what has it been like building that empire with her? Well, first of all, it's been a master class in excellence. Uh, but at the same token, look around and you see excellence all around us. And so I like to think we aren't really leading as much as we're marching with everyone else. And you'll see tonight, it's such a reflection of the tapestry of people. So when people talk about diversity, it isn't one group of people, that's all of us. And so building this thing with Beyonce, I will tell you, I've seen the best in everyone. Congratulations. Thank you so here. much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What got you here? How, how did you get this extremely amazing accolade? Um, my mother, period. I'm just kidding. Um, I want to say that it's a mixture of 
being brave enough to step into your authentic, true self. I have been very adamant about making sure that I represent myself in the most authentic, genuine way possible and hoping to spread that kind of infectious energy so that other people are inspired to act with courage and power. Um, I mean, I'm a very young person, I'm very junior, but I'm also inspired by change makers like Emma Gonzalez and the students at Parkland who are able to harness the power in their voice as young people. Um, and so I think that was what was needed in, in this industry at Ad Color, and I'm incredibly excited to be here. Tell me a little bit about your message and how important it is for you to be creative, but also to get your message across. Yeah, for me, you know, I, I am so fortunate. My job is to basically help other people live their truth. So as a pop songwriter, I am helping my fellow collaborators, whether that's a producer, another songwriter, or, an, or the, the singer, the artist. I spend every day of my life helping my collaborators live in their truth and stand in their truth. And um, so for me, it's not about my message, it's about helping other people tell their true stories. And that has become my message, and uh, it brings me more pride than anything in the world. Well, so I know you were part of Thank You Next, which was one of the biggest music videos, songs of this year. What was your collab with Ari like? Like, how were you involved in this? So I wish I was a part of the Thank You Next album, not uh -huh. the song. Yes. I wish I was on the song, but um, it was an amazing time. You know, Ari is at this unbelievable point in her career where she is living in her truth and she is feeling her truth. And to get to spend a couple days with her in New York while she was making this album, uh, and the song I got to do uh, with her was called Fake Smile, and to kind of explore what she has to go through as the, the human she is, to, to help tell that story, to, to help her live in her truth even more, was a big honor for me. Thank you guys so much for joining us for the 13th annual Ad Color Awards. We hope that you guys have enjoyed these interviews. If you'd like to see more like them, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, download the app for free, or just go to our website. We'll see you next time.